What's up crew, Justin with Santa Fe, and one more quick tip for you. And this is in regards to a crawl space application and dehumidification in a crawl space application. And I, a lot of times we get the question of, does that crawl space need to be sealed up? How sealed up does it need to be? What, do I, what steps do I need to take in order to get it properly sealed up? So first and foremost, you wanna have a vapor barrier down over any open soil, open gravel, or anything. A lot of people think that if they just close off the vents, and they have an open dirt floor that they can dehumidify that crawl space. You'll have a slight effect on there, but a lot of moisture vapor comes up from the ground. And the faster you dry that crawl space, the faster that moisture vapor comes up from the ground. Air moves hot to cold, wet to dry. So we wanna make sure that we're sealing that ground off with some sort of vapor barrier, at least an eight mil poly is what we would recommend. Uh, concrete works as a vapor barrier in most cases. Uh, so step one, make sure that ground is sealed up Anytime you run plastic, you wanna make sure that you run it across the ground and it's sealed up at least eight inches or more up the wall. A lot of times people run it all the way up the wall. It just depends on the contractor doing the work, but first and foremost, make sure that ground is sealed off. Second, we wanna make sure those crawl space vents are closed off and sealed off. A lot of moisture is gonna come in from there, especially on a hot, humid day outside, any high dew point conditions outside, so we wanna make sure that those vents are closed off no ventilation running through that crawl space. Otherwise, we're trying to dehumidify the additional moisture that's being brought in through either ventilation mechanically uh, or uh, just by having the vents open themselves. So uh, a lot of people have a different take on that. Uh, there are companies that think that ventilating the crawl space is the best option uh, in addition to dehumidification. That's certainly a option, but you just have to take into consideration that additional moisture load depending upon what Mother Nature is doing outside for you that day. So. Most likely in the summer months, that's gonna be an additional moisture load for you. May not be so much in the winter months or the cooler seasons, the drier seasons, but geographical location just depends. So first and foremost, seal up the ground, seal off that ground. Uh, we don't wanna have any open soil, open sand, open gravel, nothing like that. Seal off those vents and then you can focus on adding the dehumidifier to that crawl space. Otherwise, you, you tend to just be spinning your wheels and that dehumidifier is gonna run and run and run and really never keep up uh, and maintain your set point or desired set point in that crawl space. So that's it for today's quick tip. Stay tuned for more quick tips from Santa Fe and Ultra by Santa Fe. And until next time, take care.